Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My husband's right behind me, so if you see some evil eye back here, it's him. My name is Allie. His name is Grant, by the way. And today we are... <laughs> today I am creating some April spreads for my reading bullet journal. So let's get into it. Oh my gosh, I just realized my nail polish is like chipped and ugly. You guys are gonna just have to ignore that. Okay, I just wanna say that I got one of these Novel Wix candles that are like book themed. They have all the Akatar series. They have all the Colleen Hoover books. This one is Cassian Unleashed. And it's like all sparkly. This is my bullet journal. I have the Amanda Rach Lee. I think this is her latest release collection. I'll point out the different tools that I'm using. I use these Pigma Micron black barrel pens. They have different varying sizes. That's what I mostly use for outlining things. And then I have a bunch of stickers from Pip Sticks, which I will link down below their subscription box. Um, I get a whole new package every single month. I do use this journal as a reading journal. Mostly I plan videos messily or I do a reading schedule. That's the majority of the pages in here are reading schedules. I will also link down my first video, which shows the majority of these pages. However, this month I do wanna do a full April calendar spread because I always end up making a bunch of little calendars for different things. Like these were, I was trying to show books that I needed to return to the library, books I needed to read for a certain video, and then these were just a calendar of videos. So I was thinking if I did a big enough calendar, I'd have enough room to write in both books that I'm scheduling myself to read, maybe when books are due from the library, but also when my videos are going to be put up. So I'm just going to line my calendar using the O3 from the Micra. Okay, so I made the boxes. I like to do things freehand because I think it makes it look a little bit more homemade and I like that look. So I'm just gonna go in and erase some of the pencil markings I had. And then I do wanna put April up here. And I think to match the kind of flavor of, why did I just say flavor? Of the rest of my bullet journal, I'm gonna do this thing where I cut out black pieces and then um, put in the word April, letters. Sorry, I don't know how to speak. I got this huge thing of black paper on Amazon. And so whenever I use the black paper, I just rip it off, cut it out, and then put in the words. I'll either use, I have this Zayer Art Paint Pen from Amazon, I'll link it below. I do also use the Jelly Roll. There is a life I lead in this city. Hurrying to cut my teeth I can take what I need to get by It doesn't make it easy The other piece of my heart moves slow Somewhere in the great unknown When I return from the afterglow Will you carry me like I and then next, I wanna choose some stickers to go around it. I don't wanna make this too busy because I know this is gonna be super in-depth. It'll probably look like this by the end. Um, so I think I'm just gonna use some of the, the little stickers on the pack, like the stars here, and then maybe some washi tape. And this is such an extra thing to do, but I got these fun little sticker tweezers. Um, to peel stickers off and it just makes it more satisfying, I have to say. I think I'll put a little star right here for the eye. Wait, hold on, put me together, take me back where I belong, I want it all. And then I will just jot down the dates with a number one micron. I do Monday through Sunday, even though it's technically not US approved, I guess, but it's just easier in my head. That's how I picture my calendar in my week, so. But the feeling is all gone. And this is done. Eventually I'll do a flip through and you'll see how this changes into a total mess. <laughs> Next, I did want to do a library due date so that I could see which books I need to prioritize. And then this page, I wanted to track the amount of pages I read or 
time listen to an audiobook each day. I got that idea from the 100 pages a day video challenge that I did, um, where some days I was like super into the reading and some days it was a struggle to get past 50 pages. So I wanted to track how much on average I read a day. And then around this page, I think I want to use some of these floral stickers. There's also a little poem in here. I wish I knew my will is strong with a place to lean. In the moment I hung best belief, the other ring of my wrist is gold. Bearing with the light it holds. When I return from my skin and bone, I'm remembering the world. All right, that's about as much as I want to do with that page. And then next, I want to just have my TBR down here. So I know this is going to just be a sh like a list of 12 or 13 books. Wait, hold on. Put me together. Take me back where I belong. I want it all. I had a feeling, but the feeling is all gone. And then I want to, I tried this last month. I tried writing down a brief synopsis or some of the things that I really liked and disliked, some of my favorite characters and a rating for each of the books that I read. Obviously I didn't get that far because I read more than four books. However, I really like this idea, especially because I went back and read these and I was like, oh my gosh, it made me think of things that I forgot way back when. Wait, that didn't make any sense. So I do want to try and attempt doing this again, but making sure that as soon as I finish a book, I'm writing in here. Hold on. Put me together. Take me back where I belong. And then I obviously don't know how much I'm going to write for each book. Last month, a couple of them were small, a couple of them were larger. So I do want to give a chance on this page to give two reviews and then on each other page at least room enough for three reviews. And then something I really love doing with my reading journal, I like to make reading schedules, which just shows which books that I'm starting or ending, maybe jotting down some page numbers. I also sometimes listen to audiobooks on my lunch break. So I want enough room to record everything just for a couple of days at a time. Cause if I schedule too far in advance, I'm setting myself up for failure. So I'm gonna make one for the rest of the week. And then I do love these light bulbs. So I think I'm gonna put them in the surrounding areas. Let me just go get some interesting paper. Something, if you're gonna do reading journals, honestly save any kind of cool colored paper. I do like the rip look. So I'm gonna go ahead and rip this carefully. I want it all. I had a feeling, but the feeling is all gone. All right, that'll have to do. And then every month the Pip Sticks pack comes with a little postcard, um, but I love to put them into my journals. This was January's. This was February's, which was perfect. And I'll probably just keep that one simple since this one's kind of crazy. This is my April reading journal. I just want to give everyone a sneak peek of this is what my kitchen table looks like after doing that. <laughs> yeah, I feel like I'm pretty pleased with what's gone on. Obviously, I haven't filled any of it out, so it looks really naked right now. Um, but stay tuned for a... I don't know if I'm going to do like a quarterly wrap up of all my bullet journal stuff or a flip through as the professionals say. I'm going to like freeze frame your face and blow it up. All right, guys, thank you for joining me and I will see you in the next video.